Respected ulama Dignitaries on the stage, honorable judges, and dear audience, I bring you a talk on Islam is the religion of peace. Dear brothers, Islam means peace. Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. And as you know, Islam is a comprehensive and universal religion for all races and classes of people. Not inclined to serve a specific category or group of people, but specially aimed to address the needs of all humanity with its moral, spiritual, social, legal, and political systems. Its moral purity and clarity, simplicity in a strict monotheistic creed and faith, and comprehensive prohibition of all types of criminality, oppression and injustice, appeals to all classes and categories of people, regardless of race, culture, education, social and economic status. The aim of Islam is to establish the ideal human society and brotherhood, spreading general benevolence and divine guidance among men for their betterment and salvation. Part of its mission is to establish justice at all times and at all levels, to maintain amicable relations even with potential enemies, as long as there are no open acts of hostilities, and to promote peace whenever possible. Allah the Almighty states in the glorious Quran, chapter 60, ayah 7 to 9. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Asallahu an yaj'ala baynakum wa bayna al-ladheena aadaytum minhum mawaddah. Wallahu qadir. والله غفور رحيم لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين It may be that Allah will grant love and friendship between you and those whom you hold as enemies for Allah has power over all things, and Allah is most forgiving and most merciful. Allah forbids you not with regard to those who do not fight you for your faith, nor drive you out of your homes from dealing kindly and justly with them. For Allah loves those who are just. Dear brothers, these ayah call for peace with those that refrain from the hostile actions. And Allah the most glorified said in his majesty Quran, chapter 8, ayah 61. وَإِن جَنَحُوا لِلسَّلْمِ فَجْنَحْ لَهَا وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ If they incline towards peace, then incline towards peace. And trust in God, for he is all hearing and all knowing. This ayah states, that whenever the enemy inclines towards peace, it is incumbent on Muslims to incline towards peace. The audience, 
It is hoped that researchers and scholars will investigate Islam and its laws and principles with impartiality and thoughtful reflection. The true beauty and awesomeness of Islam is only evident in full of vitality to those who live by it and practice it. But all students can admire just laws, universal brotherhood, noble and rational principal, principles, and excellent moral examples of purity, uprightness, truthfulness, generosity, courageousness, and justice. One of the evidences of Seven, Ayah 179. Many are the jinn and men we have made for hellfire. They have hearts wherewith they understand not, eyes wherewith they see not, ears wherewith they hear not. They are like cattle, nay, they are even more misguided. They are the heedless and neglectful. Dear brothers, I had the conclusion of my speech. I would like to tell you that in Islam people find full satisfaction that includes both their spiritual and moral and their physical and practical expectations and needs. A profound contribution to the domain of thoughts. Eastern Crescent. Alternative Media. People's Choice. For subscription and other details, please contact us on 022-2677-1618 or 022-2679-8538. You may also log on to www.easterncrescent.in.